welcome to the first episode of Lighthouse Discovery Network. My name is Ahmad and I will be your host for today. In today's episode, I will be bringing you to an island located at the northeastern part of Singapore. Which island am I talking about? You will find out shortly. Pulau Ubin is an island on the northeastern coast of Singapore, shaped like a boomerang and covered by low hills. This offshore island is being developed into a nature park complete with trails, shelters, camping sites, chalets and other basic amenities. Our trip begins with a bus ride to the Changi Jetty. We took bus number 2 and reached Changi Jetty within a few minutes. Upon reaching Changi Jetty, we took the boat over to the sea to Pulau Ubin. The boat ride cost $3 and on the boat, you will be able to see the beautiful sight view of Pulau Ubin. People will come to Pulau Ubin for leisure and to view the nature together with their family. Now at the information kiosk. This is where people get information about the island. Behind me, as you can see, there is a map of Pulau Ubin. This is where people get directions to move about in the island. Other than getting information from here, you can also go to the counter and obtain this map. It is very useful as it is handy and you can refer to it when you are lost. Now, since I have the map, why not we go for a tour? In Pulau Ubin, there are bicycles for renting and there are a variety of coffee shops for all. Bicycles can be rented at the village. The trails have been upgraded to facilitate trekking and basic amenities like toilets and shelters which are available for the convenience of visitors. Enjoy a sumptuous meal at a seafood restaurant and cap off your stay. We will visit to the colourful Thai and magnificent Ma Chor temples by the seashore. There are also temples for the people to worship their god. In Pulau Ubin, we visited the chief house and found out the kind of lifestyle the people there had. That made us feel as though we were 50 years ago. People there lead a simple life, unlike the kind of lifestyle Singaporeans have, which is busy and stressful. The kampung lifestyle they lead is rarely seen in Singapore, and therefore that gave me the nostalgia feeling. People there also rear animals such as rabbits, wild boars, parrots, peacocks, ducks, chickens and many other more animals. People there also fish for a living. They either catch seafood for money or for their own users. There are also campsites there for people to have a taste of the kind of lifestyle the people in Pulau Ubin had. The 
There are huts located in Pulau Ubin for the travellers to rest. Murai Hut Kelicap Hut Pakakak Hut Punai Hut Beberet Hut and many others. During our journey, we've also found the tallest tree in Pulau Ubin and beneath it was a Muslim cemetery. Besides the Chinese temple, Pulau Ubin also have a Thai temple for them to worship. We managed to view the picture and statue of the Thai god. We also managed to take a peep at its attractive nature. Much of its natural environment will be preserved in the development program and visitors can still experience granite quarries, coconut and rubber plantations. Chit Jawa is a place whereby we are able to see the different kinds of marine life and the beautiful sea view it has. What's your name? Bai 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 Andy,为什么你会在这边开店?我家来过来就是来这边做吗?跟老公一起做吗?你在这边做工会不会觉得很累?有没有想去新加坡工作?想。为什么?为什么?不好。OK,谢谢。We have now come to the end of our journey. We hope that you have enjoyed it. I'm Ahmad and I'll see you again in the next show. Goodbye. Here, God. Here, God. Can you speak English? Okay, see ya. <laughs>